Uh, I think, uh, especially for trade uh, on the WTO uh, and prior to the WTO, we had the general agreement of trade and tariffs. Uh, I think it was to create a rules-based uh, and open a trading system where countries can trade with each other. Because at least on the trade side, uh, the, the birth of the Bretton Woods institutions, uh, the multilateral institutions uh, that are overseeing trade, uh, took uh, place because of the trade wars that happened uh, after the, the, the Great Recession where countries were raising tariffs against each other so it was really literally a trade war where a, a, you are because your economy is in such bad shape you raise your tariffs to protect your market and then as you do that the countries who are being affected by your tariffs also put tariffs against your products and and this led to a to basically a stalling of the world trade and you know very dire circumstances so uh, in in uh, the lead up to the setting up of the general agreement of trade and tariffs that was exactly uh, you know the issue that uh, they had to uh, address and so they came to an agreement as to how they should be uh, dealing with uh, tariff increases and uh, tariff setting and so on and eventually uh, especially led by uh, the advanced countries you had a process up to the time of the formation of the WTO in 95 so you're talking about mainly, you know, I mean, after the war, everybody's busy reconstructing, uh, and we have the Marshall Plan and all that, uh, and I and I think the other institutions uh, in terms of the rebuilding of countries post -war, World War uh, played an important role. And then when countries became uh, prosperous and uh, uh, begin to trade again, I guess in the beginning in the 60s, you saw a situation where the advanced countries, uh, starting with several rounds of uh, gap uh, rounds of tariff reduction, the advanced countries, especially in Europe as well as in uh, especially the US and then later on Japan, uh, agreed to reduce tariffs over a period of time and it was a time when developing countries actually didn't have to do anything. So developing countries benefited from uh, the pre-WTO uh, trade policy that was created by uh, the setting up of a G a general agreement of trade and tariffs or GATT, uh, where the advanced countries were playing the, played the leading role in reducing the tariffs without the de developing countries having to do it and enjoying uh, a very prosperous, open uh, world trade system where they could grow, where they could actually uh, have export-oriented development strategies. Uh, and until we had the, uh, the creation of the WTO, so the World Trade Organization uh, which was supposed to be created much like IMF and World Bank back in the time of the beginning of the Bretton Woods didn't happen uh, they couldn't agree to have an institutional overarching institution uh, to be in charge of trade but they did agree on a general agreement right so it took uh, how many years later was that um, uh, we are just celebrating now 20 something years of GATT right so 50 years later uh, before we could actually have the WTO uh, be agreed on in 95 and the big difference between now the so the you could say the second phase of uh, the multilateral uh, institution that's in charge of trade starting in 95 is the birth of the WTO as an institution and in this period uh, we again saw the very important role of, of the WTO uh, having reached agreements beyond tariffs in goods uh, addressing quotas in textiles uh, which was a big boon for uh, developing countries addressing agriculture addressing intellectual property rights, investment, many other issues and for the first time developing countries also have to come under the umbrella of the rules-based trading system including you know under what situation can you uh, use non-tariff measures, the importance of scientific standards and uh, criteria and transparency so the and also most importantly was the creation of the dispute settlement system where uh, again you know if you go back to the history of the creation of the Bretton Woods Institution, it was to prevent conflict 
from becoming a trade war. Yeah. Uh, so in the, the, the importance of the WTO dispute settlement system is if two countries had a conflict or a difference in the in their interpretation of a trade policy, you don't take it bilaterally and have a have a war or have a conflict. You take it to an independent uh, panel, which is the dispute settlement panel, to settle the dispute. And then you then uh, there's a process, and both sides have to comply uh, to whatever the decision is, right? So that ha that worked until uh, recently. So, but but I think for developing countries, a multilateral rules-based trading system, uh, where the tr external rules of engagement between countries is very important, has been a very important uh, role of the uh, of the Bretton Woods system in the last 75 years. And most importantly, for if you talk about the developing countries, the accession of China to the WTO in 2001 was probably a very much a game changer in the way you see the trade la trade investment and globalization landscape today where China has increased its share uh, in world trade, in world GDP, uh, uh, riding on uh, this open and rules-based trading system.